I'm certainly not a macho man, that is for sure. But uh, Donald Trump has been playing a Village People songs at many of his rallies across the country, so we thought we would uh, start off by playing. I like YMCA, though. That's my favorite. That, that, that's my all-time favorite classic. But anyway, the reason why we're playing that music and we're talking about that's Donald exactly Trump right. is because Trump held a rally last night in Florida with thousands and thousands of people. This was the first time he held a rally since, of course, testing positive for the coronavirus. His doctors yesterday, uh, midway through the day, said that he had tested negative. So this is Donald Trump telling a crowd in Florida last night he feels great. And this was really bizarre. And then he said he wanted to kiss everyone in the audience. Have a listen to this. One thing with me, the nice part. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that audience. I'll walk in there. I'll kiss everyone in that audience. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women and um, everybody. I'll just give you a big fat kiss. Well, wait a second. My question is, what about the women he doesn't consider beautiful? So he said he's going to kiss the guys. It doesn't matter what they look like, but he's going to kiss the beautiful women. What about the women he doesn't consider beautiful? Anyway, the man just was positive for the coronavirus. But that, uh, by the way, coronavirus or not, I don't want to kiss from, from any man, let alone Donald Trump. But with that being said... Come on, man. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Joe Biden. With that being said, this was another example of people not practicing social distancing. This was another example. Thousands of people, you would think there was no pandemic. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. The same thing happened in Henderson, indoors, might I add. Thousands and thousands of people, and you would think there was no global pandemic. By the way, when the president says he's immune, we are learning that a 25-year-old Nevada man publicly now is the first American who, who has been confirmed to have been infected twice with COVID-19. In fact, much sicker the second time around. There's no guarantee that you can't be infected again. But even if that was the case... I mean, Brian, we've got 7.8 million cases in the United States. Okay. So if one person of 7.8 million was reinfected, I, I'm perfectly fine with Donald Trump saying he's immune at the direction of his okay. doctors. Okay, so the problem... I mean, that, that is the definition of anecdotal evidence. Okay, so the problem that we have is that this is a new virus. There are still plenty of unknowns when it comes to this virus. Most scientists and doctors would tell you that. There's still plenty of things about this virus we don't know, like why is it that it, it seems to affect everybody differently? Why is that? Why is it? There's a lot of unanswered questions. So, yes, when the president goes up there and says he's immune, we don't know if that's true or not. I think it's important for the president of the United States to be factually accurate. And again, I go back to what I was saying earlier because I think this is very important. Not I think. I know this is very important. The bottom line is the president couldn't even protect his own friends and family. We know what's transpired in the White House. We know all the people that have been infected with the coronavirus. But yet there are thousands and thousands of people going to these campaign rallies, and there will continue to be that many people that will not be practicing social distancing, that will not be wearing masks. There's a very small percentage of people there that are wearing masks. Listen, all the president has to do is get up there on a the stage and says, look, folks, I know it's uncomfortable. Can we please make the scientist happy? I need all of you to vote for me. I don't want you guys to get sick. I don't want you guys to die. I need all of you to vote for me. Please wear a mask if you're going to come to my rallies. That's all the president has to say. And I believe a lot of people would probably listen to him. But most of those people that were in that crowd last night in Florida, not only were not practicing social distancing, but were not wearing masks. Hey, speaking of that crowd, so just some, some very, very interesting positive data for Donald Trump that came from that crowd. 16,000 voters were identified there. 31.8% were not Republicans. 16% were Democrat. 25% did not vote in 2016. And 15% did not vote in the last four elections. Okay, so, so I don't care whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. I don't care who you're voting for, because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that are not practicing social distancing. I don't. If, if there were 10,000 liberals there, I'd be saying the exact same thing. I know you said. Would. I've said the same thing about the Black Lives Matter protesters, even though that is outside, and I know the Florida rally was outside w yesterday. What did you say about the crowd outside of the Staples Center? Well, that we, was, haven't, that well was we haven't talked about that chest yet. Chest to chest, uh, we, no if mask, you look at, freaking out for okay, two hours. So, so if you look at later on in the show, we're going to be talking about that, and I will gladly share you my opinions. Okay, but as fantastic. I've, but as I've said for the last six months— and I'll share my opinion again. I don't care what your political affiliation is. I don't care whether it's a Black Lives Matter protest 
or a Joe Biden rally or a Donald Trump rally. I find it beyond extremely irresponsible. I don't care what your age is. And by the way, Mike Pence held a rally. And in Mike Pence rally, it was a, I guess, I don't want to use the term old people. What was that, Arizona? Uh, I don't want to use the term old people, but uh, it was a retirement community. Mm -hmm. Thousands of people, elderly, a lot of people of, of an old older age, I guess that's a nice way of putting it, that were not wearing masks, that were that's not socially exactly distancing. Right. Those people are morons. And Hogan Gidley and Ivanka Trump held a rally yesterday in Las Vegas. I think it was in the backyard of a, a pretty nice house. I'm not aware of that, but yeah. I, but the Mike Pence rally, I mean, you want to talk about concerning. There are people of an, of an older age that were not practicing well, social distancing. These are high-risk people. You also know that Donald Trump tested negative for the virus. He has antibodies to it. Within three days after he took that Regeneron uh, therapeutic measure or the medicine, he was basically he was symptom free. And he said last week, and this didn't get didn't get covered by many, but that he is going to make sure that every single senior mm -hmm. who has this virus is going to get the same treatment that he got, which is that Regeneron mm -hmm. uh, an, uh, mm -hmm. monoclonal antibody treatment or injection. Well, you know he cares. So, so if that happens, then there's not really mm -hmm. a job. And also, who came out two days ago? and said, oh, by the way, lockdowns are not the measure. That's not what should be happening worldwide because they're causing, a much, they're causing much more damage than they are preventing. Okay, so and that's not what they said. They, I know exactly they, what they, they said. They, and that's they did not, say that. that. Okay, so that's not the exact verbiage that they use. The exact verbiage that they use is it shouldn't be the number one thing on the top of the list. They did not say that, no, lockdowns shouldn't happen. What they did say is what, it shouldn't be the number one detriment to try to handling this virus. That's what they said. you got to put it in context, two completely different things there. But going back to what I was saying before, these people are some of the dumbest, and again, nothing to do with political affiliation. The people out there that are still, to this very day, A pot. not practicing social distancing, not wearing masks, especially those people that were at the Mike Pence rally that were senior citizens.